guys hope you're doing great uh, today's question is maximal rectangle so the question says given a 2d binary matrix filled with zeros and ones find the largest rectangle containing only ones and return its area so for example here in this matrix uh, as we can see this is the highlighted rectangle with ones okay so the rectangle has to be formed by just ones and we want to find the area of the rectangle which is maximum right so for example here it is 6 okay so um, first of all this question is going to use uh, largest rectangle in histogram and I have created a video on that previously so I strongly strongly recommend that you go and watch that one first in order to be very swiftly and easily able to understand this solution Okay, so this is a matrix, an unsorted matrix, and let's have a look at the various approaches we can take to solve questions on that. So please pause the video, have a look, think, and come back. So I think um, this is a combination, uh, as in one is like we just have to simply traverse through the array, that's, that's for sure. And the other thing is that we have to, um, um, you know, kind of reuse the solution we have done for finding the maximum um, rectangle in a histogram, wherein we have to use a collection to store the, the bars, the heights of the bars that we have seen till now. Um, so yeah, it's, it's a combination of using a collection and traversing through the metrics. So uh, let's see how we can actually solve it and what is the concept behind it. So if you look at this, right, and if you look at this first, just the first row of the matrix and think of it as the histogram, right? So the histogram representation. So you can see that the first bar is of height 1, then 0, then 1, and 0, 0. So here the maximum area would be 1, right? If, if we now add to it the second row, okay? So this is 1 plus 1, 2. This is 0, 2, 1, 1, right? These are the heights of the bars on the histogram, right? So here the maximum area would be 2, right? Now we add another row to it and we get this because 3, 1, 3, 2, 2, right? So 6 is our answer. Um, and then we add all four of them and we see that this is 4. This is 0 because it starts with 0. So we ignore any ones above it. If it is 0 at this particular level, it's 0 um, for, for, for all. And then 0 again, 3 and 0. So this reveals uh, like four which is lesser than six and so six is our answer so that's all we have to do we just have to create the height array and every time we create the height array for for a particular level uh, we just have to send it to the same method that we are using in the uh, largest rectangle in histogram to find the maximum area and then we add another row to it and send that uh, array to the to the same function and so on and whatever is the max is our answer. So let's get started on the implementation. Yeah. So um, some base checks. So if matrix is e um, dot length is equal to equal to sorry about that. So if it's zero, then we just have to return zero. There's nothing we can do about it. Okay. Otherwise, now let's uh, create an array called height, and the length of it would be matrix of zero dot length. And why is that? Because we want that we create one array 
with the same number of columns as the matrix, so which is indicated to a matrix of zero. Um, yeah. Okay. Okay. So after this, we can just get started with traversing through the array, uh, uh, through the matrix in just like the very regular way. So matrix dot length i plus plus and then for int j equals zero j less than matrix of zero dot length and j plus plus okay okay so for this particular column right what we'll do is that if ma if matrix of i j is equal to equal to zero okay then we'll just say that height of j right because we are progressing through the columns of height single dimensional array that will be zero irrespective of what it had earlier it will be zero otherwise Otherwise, we just increment height of j by 1, okay? So, for example, in these cases, when on the second column, we'll see uh, height of 0 would have 1 already because it had 1 in the first level. And then when we see a 1 again, we'll just increment it by 1, okay? So uh, we'll just keep doing this and we'll get our first height array ready for the very first level. And then once we have that, after this for loop completes, what we'll do is that max equals to, I'll declare this above. So max comma, let's say find the area. And to it, we'll give matrix. Um, no. We'll just give height, right? We don't need the matrix yet. So we'll just give the give it the height, and that's all. Yeah. Okay. And once this will be done, we'll just return max. Let's declare int max equals to zero. That's it. So now let's implement this find the area method. So It takes a integer array of height. Yeah, so this is going to be pretty similar to uh, finding the largest rectangle in a histogram. So what we'll do here is that we'll have a local max, right, which is equal to zero. We'll need to use a stack. We don't need base conditions here because we know what we're sending. So integer stack equals to new stack. Okay, so now what we have to do is for <clears throat> each element of height, first of all, we'll add the index of the first element, which is always going to be zero. And then uh, we just have to take a for loop and i equals to one, i less than height dot length okay okay let's make this etched for being able to write the code quickly so edge length and i plus plus okay so now we just get the current element is which is edge of i right and then we check that if uh, the stack is is empty right so if there's nothing in the stack it just got emptied is empty or current is greater than equal to h of stack dot peak right so whatever is on the top of the stack um, yeah if you're not able to follow what I'm doing in the find the area uh, please refer the largest area um, in a histogram video, that's that's where I have very 
uh, clearly explain all of this. Okay. So yeah. So if the stack is empty or the current is more than whatever index is at the top of the stack and the bar representation for that in H, what we have to do is that we just have to push that to the stack because we're getting a bigger bar, right? Stack dot add i. Yeah. Um, else, if it's not, then we have to keep on popping elements from the stack until either the stack is empty or we get an element that's smaller than current. So while the stack is not empty, okay, sorry, uh, empty and current is less than h of stack dot peak, okay. Now, fine. So what we'll do is that we'll just get the element in temp and that will be h of stack dot pop, okay. That's the top one. Now we have to do the math, right? So what we'll do is that if stack is empty, that means there's nothing else left, then the area uh, max equals to math dot max of max comma temp into i. Yeah. Else, else it's interesting so else we just do max equals to math dot max max comma temp um, into so I we, we are trying to find the um, the area that this particular bar can be spanned on to so I minus stack dot peak minus one okay yeah okay so um, once we're done with all of this don't forget to add this to the stack okay um, yeah so once we are out of this for loop um, there is a possibility that the height was ever increasing we never encountered a smaller element in this because of which we would have like um, popped out the elements. So, for example, if the height was 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, right? So, we never got into this condition. We just kept adding and the stack has all the elements and the max is still 0. So, we don't want to run into that. So, that's why after we finish the for loop, we'll have to kind of run this again if the stack is not empty. Okay, so if the stack is not empty, then we have to, I'll just copy this piece of it. This is literally the same, except for this, right? Because we know that all the elements would be larger. Hmm. So while the stack is not empty, we just, uh, and we do need an i. Yeah. Mm, okay. So, I is placed at h dot length because after finishing this h would be like beyond the elements and that's what we need in order to do this mathematics here. So we just place it at equal to h dot length and that's it. Should be okay. And then we can return max from here. Yeah. So what we get, we just constantly, okay. So we just constantly keep tracking whatever max has been returned here. And then we finally return this value. So let's see if this works. Oops. Oh, oh, oh. This is a function. Yeah. 
sorry about that. Have I done that anywhere else? Yes. This is the these are the cons of copy paste. Okay, that works. Time complexity for this would be O of n into m. Okay, because uh, we are yeah. Let's understand that because um, we are traversing through the matrix once, and then for each column, right? We are just doing this find area, right? So, so basically, for not for each column, for each row, right? So it kind of becomes um, O of n into m as a collective time complexity. And the space complexity would be the number of O of number of columns, that is matrix of zero. So if n is the number of columns, then O of n is the space complexity because we're using this height array to derive the answer. So I hope you find this video helpful. If you do, please like, share and subscribe. Keep putting in dick here, guys.